The Office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools is committed to providing students with an arts-rich education. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson joins us with how students got to show the public what having arts in the classroom means to them. Hi, Juanita. Hi. Well, some of the top art students in Fresno County showcased their skills and talents in a live arts competition that had them racing against the clock. Art Hop in downtown Fresno, a popular event that draws an eclectic mix of art lovers. When they enter the K Jewel Art Gallery, they walked into a live student driven art project. I think it's awesome and it's just really inspiring. I love that the kids get so involved. This is Heartbeat, the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools annual student showcase of artwork submitted by students from all over the county. This year's theme was art equals opportunity. So the students were tasked with creating a piece of art that they felt represented the opportunities that arts education provides for students. All the artwork hanging on the walls of the gallery created by students, but the people visiting this art exhibit also got to see a live student art exhibition take place right in front of them. So when these students showed up earlier today, there was just a blank canvas and they didn't have any clue what they were going to be painting. They chose at random a post-impressionist master work. Their challenge, modernize it and recreate it with a 21st century modern spin. We were really hoping that we would get that we would get scream because we were we were already making ideas of what to do. So we were really, really happy when we opened the envelope. Edison High students Myrna Vasquez and Liliana Pantoja had an interesting modern take on the screen by Edward Monk. And we wanted to make it uh, a modernized painting by switching the style of it. So we're going after a graffiti-like style since uh, an art that isn't really appreciated and is viewed as vandalism. We really wanted to express that it's actually really creative and that it can be portrayed in a canvas as well. It was fascinating to watch students take master works of art from the late 1800s and put a modern day spin to them. Emily Haskell said she was excited about what they could do with the dance of life. It's basically a piece of like a woman dancing through different parts of her life and so we immediately looked at it and said how can we make this modern? We can make it look like prom. We can make it look like a high school dance. Students had only about four hours to create their own masterpieces. Some deciding to take an abstract approach to a well-known painting like Van Gogh's Cafe Terrace at night. I'm a bit stressed out because we need to add like a lot of value and shading to it as well as like details but I think that once we get it covered like we're, we're gonna get it. Little by little their artwork took shape. The pieces reflecting each student's style showcasing the kind of skills they can take with them through life. We have such wonderful thinking students, creative students, passionate students that need the opportunity to share their creative voice with the world and that's what we're trying to give them here. Wow. Now, all of the artwork showcased uh, on the walls of the gallery and that you saw the kids painting right there mm -hmm. live, uh, they were all sold and the funds going, wow. yeah. Some of the kids they got a pretty good well, price well, for good some for of that them. work. Yeah. yeah. And how fascinating to actually watch the process Oh, unfold. it was so fascinating. We were there. It was very enjoyable. Yeah, I want yeah. one for my wall. I yeah. wish I got well, invited you, to this. Maybe you can commission I, them. I, I, you I, have I, I to compete trying. against Superintendent Yavino. If oh, you're in yes. his office, he's got a wall full of student art. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. By the way, I know where he lives. So <laughs> okay. I'm in his house. Yeah. Juanita, thank you. Thank sure. you, Juanita.